How is it going, fellow Poketubers? It's Ahsoka bringing you part three of my Phantom Forces case opening. This is booster box number three. As you have it, if you haven't already figured it out, I do one box per video or part, however you want to call it. And trying to rip this stupid plastic open. Even though there's a scissors one arm's length away from me, I have to bite the paper. So this. Hopefully we can pull the second secret rare out of this case. The ratios haven't changed at all. If you aren't aware of the ratios per um, Pokemon booster boxes, the EXs and Full Arts and Megas can kind of change a little bit, but they've pretty much kept the same for the secret rares throughout each one of the um, sets. They're usually two per back in... What is it? Back in EX series, I think it used to be two per box. You used to get three gold stars per case. But they've kept it to two now, which makes it somewhat difficult for, cert for certain sets. So Purloin is the reverse hollow. Leave Annie for the rare. And those are some trainers. So yeah, um, for certain sets, like say Plasma, Plasma Freeze was a difficult one. Plasma Blast wasn't as difficult. It only had four secret rares, but certain sets with a lot of secret rares made it hard to get a complete set. Spirit Tomb, Reverse Hollow Rare. Mighty Ina. Nice. Shauna and Professor Sycamore. So yeah, the secret rares haven't really changed much. I think in this, in the last two sets, I think it averaged about 29 to 33 uh, ultra rares, you know, which includes secret rares, megas, EXs, and full arts per case. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Lit Leo, reverse hollow. I actually really enjoy, even though I do like the EX series reverse hollow sets better, I do like this sort of pattern in reverse hollowing. Heliolisk for the rare. Enhanced Hammer. Yeah, so I think the math on my box, or my cases, were 31. I have seen some people get 29, and on the last set I saw somebody pull 32 or 33 ultra rares out of a Furious Fist case. But usually at center, it averages around 30 per case. Fletchling. Gligar. There we go. And I believe still the EX rate is 12. At least 12. Sometimes it can go up to 16, I think, in certain ones. And then the full arts usually go from 7 to 10, but they average at about 9 for the most part. Or they don't, their range is 7 to 10, where the average is usually 9. Swallows. And DCE with Klefki. I'm currently taking statistics, so I do find the numbers and pull rates. Um, pretty fun and different things like that. We have a Murkrow Reverse Hollow and a Manectric EX for the Ultra Rare. That's definitely awesome. I was organizing all of the EXs that I have, and this is the one of the least, are the ones that I have the least amount of. So that is definitely a good pull for me. I like a little bit of variety in my pulls. But yeah, I do enjoy the pull rates more now than compared to what they used to be during the early black and white. Early black and white was two EXs per box with a full art. And that's an uncommon. Explode. Nice. Three trainers. So 
So I think what would that make it? That would make it 12 EXs and six full arts with two secret rares per case. So you had 18, 20 ultra rares per case. And they really didn't always sell for as much either. So that always kind of sucked. So at least now they kind of sell for a decent amount and you can make your money back on the ultra rares. If I can get that to focus, Wall of Fett, Venomoth, and Scope. About a quarter of the way down through this box. We have a Trick Coin Reverse. Nice, a Deancey Hollow Rare. It's actually a really nice one. I'm going to take a second to look at this and slave it and maybe grade it. It's always very difficult to find centered cards in the Hollow Rares. Uh, too bad. It's got a little white nick down there. Not going to be good enough to grade, unfortunately. First Hollow Rare, Fletchinder, or no, it's Talonflame, excuse me. Haunch Crow, and some trainers. I think Talonflame and Fletchinder have Flame Body in the game, where it allows you to hatch a Pokemon in half the number of steps, so it's actually pretty good for breeding, and it can fly, so you can actually keep one Pokemon in your the one Pokemon you need to have in your team can also travel around, so it makes it pretty easy for breeding. Chansey. Crobat's a rare. And what do we have here? Nice, a VS Seeker. And Hand Scope, or Hand Soap as I sometimes call it when I'm talking really fast. Nice, a King Lear Reverse Hollow. Heatran for the Rare Hollow. And Roller Skates. Awesome, there we go. Got a Bronzong Reverse Hollow Rare. And Flit our Town Flame. Trick coin. Come on, Gengar. All right, we got Dimension Valley, Diggers B, and Zorosic. Let's see, every time I pull an Ultra Rare, I will show a code. Let's play that game. So far we have Yenma. And, haha, <laughs> crap, check that out. I pull a Gengar Full Art and you guys get a code. That is a pretty nice Gengar. I'm going to put that one in one of these right here. There we go. An awesome looking Gengar Fuller. i got to stop putting these things in card savers. I'm going to have none of them online for sale. Alright, we got Tierno. And that, look at that, I just dropped all the cards. Every time I get a full art or a Gengar or a secret rare, I drop all the cards. So let's see. We got Phantom Forces. And we'll make it a double for a Gengar. Alright. 
little little less than two thirds of the pack done. This is an awesome box so far. I got a Manectric and a Gengar. All right, Fletchinger versus Hollow Rare Slurpuff, Galvantula, and Lysander's last trump card. I'm actually going to move this off camera so I don't smack it around and make it go flying. Venonat, Reverse Hollow, Blissey for the rare, and some trainers. Last pack on the left side. Come on, open. Giraffe Rig, Reverse Hollow, Slurpuff, Rare Hollow, and no trainers. Alright, moving on to the right side. Awesome, we got a Gorgeist versus Hollow Rare, Crobat, Trick Coin, and two other trainers. Come on, let's see if we can make this box even better. Alright, got a Zwellis versus Hollow. Venomoth, Tyranno, and Robo Substitute. So far, I think the best box I've seen was Unlisted Leafs booster box that he opened before the before the set came out. That was definitely an awesome box. All right, we got the Reverse Hollow, Rog and Rolla, and holy crap! I take that back. This box might be better than the one he opened up. I got a Gengar Full Art and a Dialga Secret Rare. Oh, man. That is a nice card right there. My hands are all sweating and I'm shaking a little bit trying not to jam the card in there. Ruin it. That is a beautiful card. No white marks. Nice and centered. an awesome card. I'm actually going to put this one in a graded card saver. I'm going to send this one off. I do have one sitting in there for grade, but two always makes me feel better. There you go. Really happy about that. This is so far an awesome box. Gengar Full Art and the Alga Secret Rare and a Manetric EX. That right there, I am happy and... I think I did not give you guys your code card yet. Oh, check it out. And a Shauna. So we're going to do a double. We got Ruggy. And UVM. Make sure you guys... Definitely an awesome pack right there. Bunnelby, Blissey, and Lysander's last trump card. Target Whistle, Reverse Hollow Rare, Exploud, and No Trainers. See, can we get a EX in here? Another full art. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that's a nice one. 
again Mega Reverse Holo Rare and a Jamming Net. That is an awesome pull right there. And what else is in here? Ooh, that's awesome too. We got a VS Seeker out of that pack. That is an excellent, excellent box. Care Blast. Sharna. And two trainers. Had about 16 minutes and about nine packs to go. Hopefully, we can finish this just around 20 minutes. All right, got a Krabby. Patch Reeser for the rare. And Zorosic for a trainer. Come on, focus. Let's see if I move a few cards out. There you go. Mighty Ena Reverse. And Pyroar for the rare. Lamperts. There we go. So far, this box is not letting me down. Litwick, Honch Crew, Roller Skates, and Dimension Valley. Swadloon, Yan Mega, Loudred. And VS Seeker. Awesome. I think I got about three of those out of this box so far. Go for about two bucks per pair. Oops. Oh, well, there we go again. Gigalith Double Time. I think when I was opening those cases, I had about four of those hollows and reverse hollow gigalis in the same pack. We got Spirit Link, haven't had too many of those. I'm just murdering that pack. Focus. Alright, this pack is. There we go. Sea Waddle. A Bronzong. Roller Skates. And Zorosic. Yeah, some of these packs just tear open really nice, and other packs don't open at all. Sligo, the reverse hollow, and Escavalier is the rare, and three trainers. If you're wondering how I sort some of the cards in the back, I always keep the trainers back there. I do the crappy ones on the left, or the ones I think aren't worth much. I do the good ones in the middle, and then on the right of that I do the spirit link ones totodile <laughs> there we go i got a mega gengar that is awesome this is turning out to be the opposite of unlisted leafs box i didn't get the gengar but i got the other secret rare and i got two gengars 
Maybe I can get the last Gengar in this box. Dimension Valley. Oops. Three packs left. Nice, got a Tierno, Reverse Hollow, Gengar Rare, and Target Whistle. For the Mega Gengar, you guys go. Vanny for Reverse Hollow Rare, Jelly Kent, AZ, and Manetric Spirit Link. And last pack, let's see if we can get something good out of this box, or one more good thing out of this box. We got a Muna Reverse Hollow. And a Hydreigon Hollow Rare. So a good box overall. Or not a good box, an excellent box overall. Very, very happy with that box. Put a few things to the side. So only four Ultra Rares under this one. I don't really count this as an Ultra, but I got, got one Jamming Knit. Got a Mega Gengar. A Manectric EX. Then I got a Gengar Full Art. A beautiful Gengar Full Art. And the last card I got was an awesome Dialga EX Secret Rare. So I was very, very happy with this box. Gave me some really good pulls and some really good conditions. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. You know, the more you guys, you know, you don't have to like or subscribe like everybody else tries to force people to do, but. It does let me know that more people that do like it, the more people that subscribe, but more importantly, the more people that just comment on it. The more people that comment on it and I respond back, I actually know that you guys actually take the time to enjoy the video and respond back. So that's what matters most to me is that you guys comment or at least, you know, watch the video. If you guys subscribe or like in the process, I appreciate that as well.